Today we're going to talk about section 6.5, and we're just really going to get a little bit into graphing complex numbers. And we're just going to briefly touch on how to graph complex numbers. Now, to graph complex numbers, you're going to graph them on the complex plane. The x-axis is what we'll call the real axes. That's where we'll graph the real numbers. And the y-axis is the imaginary axis, and that's where we'll graph the imaginary numbers. So the point, z, is the complex number, x plus i, y. You'll go the x value in the x direction and the y value in the imaginary direction, and that'll give you your point. Now we're going to graph these. You can graph them as points or vectors. Vectors are like rays, a line with an arrow on the end. And we're going to go ahead and graph them as vectors today. So let's take a look at our first example. We're going to represent the number 2 plus 3i graphically. So the real part of this number is 2, so we're going to go over 2 units in the real axis direction. And the imaginary portion is 3, so we'll go 3 in that direction, so the point 2, 3 will be our vector, and so that's the 2 plus 3i. Now, we can also add imaginary numbers and then graph them. If I add negative 2 plus 4i and 4 plus i, if I graph each of these separate, we would get negative 2 and 4i here, 4 plus i there, those would be the two separate. If I add them together and I add the imaginary parts and the real parts, I get 2 plus 5i. And if I graph that one, you get the final answer. Right there, we go 2 in the real direction and 5 in the imaginary direction. So the red would be the final answer. I can subtract, now it says subtract negative 1 plus i from 3 plus 2i. If I wanted to write this as a subtraction, the negative, uh, the 3 plus 2i would come first, minus negative 1 plus i. Now I can start by graphing each of those vectors separately. There's 3 plus 2i and negative 1 plus i. Now, when I add those together, I'm going to have to distribute that negative sign, I'm sorry, when I subtract them, so plus 1 minus i, so I get 4 plus i. And so if I go 4 in the real direction, and I, one I in the imaginary direction, I'll get that vector answer. And finally, the last one, if I graph 2 plus I, we'll go over 2 and up 1, there's 2 plus I, and 4 plus 2I, you get those two, you can see they're kind of in the same line there. If I add them together, I get 6 plus 3i, and I'll go over 6 in the real direction and up 3i in the imaginary, and the blue would be the final addition vector. And that's where we'll end for today.